Ah, you've returned, young one. How does fate find you today? Let me see, young one. Ah, the purple thread from your enemy. You have a dice, and you have to decide what you'll do with that power. And you saved someone who'd done you harm, didn't you? Oh, it seems to me, at least in that moment, you thought everyone might deserve a second chance. Hmm? And this blue thread from the two friends. Not a happy story there, with a friendship and a dice both dead. But there's some joy in it, too, isn't there? The old dice wielder made peace with his past, and in doing so, found a new motivation for the present. And this red thread from the woman in love. One can never fully depend on someone for one's own happiness. Isn't that true? We can't lose ourselves in someone else. We have to be our own people no matter how much we idolize someone. Well, enough of that. Let's see what happens when these threads combine. <laughs> ah, look at that. How beautiful it is when the weave comes together. <sighs> You're a long way from one town, young one. You are lost, but you haven't realized yet that your story goes on, whether you care or not. Look, um, I'm glad you like your rug, but I'm, I'm really just looking for someone named Uma. If you are so certain that is what you want, look here. Closer. But it's just a rug. I don't see anything. Sometimes, to see things as they truly are, we must look within. Long ago, in the land of Random, there was a wonderful witch and a terrible queen. And everyone had a dice with which they could control their destinies. The witch, with her magical dots, gave every dice tremendous power. It was chaotic, but fair. Horrible, but beautiful. It was life. But sometimes there were disasters. One day, a new queen came to power, and she decreed her dice should be the only one. The queen hunted down all the dice in random, tearing them from their wielders. It was a war, and she won, but still she was not satisfied. She turned against the witch, so desperate was this queen to find and control the secret valley from which all dice came. The queen destroyed Forberg, searching for her, but the wonderful witch was clever, and she escaped to her dice's valley, shrouding her way behind her. To this day, the witch stays hidden, and the queen searches for any sign of her, for they both know she will one day return and help the dice wielders do the same. I'm sure you have 
many questions. Your kind is so small, and your life so short, it does sometimes feel silly to learn them. In the before times, I produced the pips for the dice of old. Every dot on them came from me, and it gave them great power. There were many of us then. The queen killed us all. All except me. Because I hid for years, decades. And now you dare to disturb me. keeping some of my children. That's you, Dicey. If only to cause that horrible queen some headache. She hates that there's another dice in random, and I love it. Only if you believe her to be. What is it you want? are like two dots on a dice, but it's yet to be seen if you share a face. You've been having dreams, Stephen, but they only show you part of the future. Dreams and destiny are woven together, but all is not as it seems. The last dice has not yet been rolled. You were lost here, lost in random, but a fact remains. Sometimes you have to lose your way in order to find your way. I will give you the dots you and Dicey need. Your eyes are closing. Your eyes are opening. <gasps> Thank you, Uma.
Eden's ordeal was finally over. She could finally repair Dicey and leave Four Town behind her. Which is great, because, quite frankly, I find this whole town to be unsettling and unpredictable. That's right. Even narrators have opinions sometimes. You'll like it. Home's not like this. The people there, they, they haven't lost hope. At least, I never noticed if they had. Oh, I'm so relieved. Of that, I have no doubt. It's just, it's usually a 50-50 chance Uma eats a visitor. She must have seen something in you she liked more than just the marrow in your bones. <laughs> and you've got the pips. Oh, with this, I can give Dicey a mighty five. All you need to enter that final arena to battle the foreman and his high rolls. Are you ready? Before you answer, know that things might get, uh, dicey as soon as you have a five. <clears throat> There'll be no going back. So you tell me, kid. Do we do this or no? High five. Okay. Just gotta add the pips. Easy. <laughs> Easy. And... A five! Read it and weep, slime face! And that entitles me to a gamble. I lose, you get my five. But if I win, I get Bruno Betts. Ladies and gentlemen, you heard the little girl. She wants to gamble. She thinks all she needs is a dice to beat me. I had a nightmare last night, you know. I lost a bet, but when I woke up, I knew that was impossible because the high roller never exists. I won't have mercy on you this time. You've earned my full.
know? It's what the foretellers foresee. What's the matter? Feel a sense of foreboding? I want you lose, lose and be forgotten forever. You can be the four man, you can you can be the high five roller, just don't kill me, please, please! You saved him even, and in exchange I promised you a trip through the bag. And Bruno can tell you, I'm as good as my word. Oh, he is that. There, she's all yours. <laughs> There was an awkward pause, and I felt compelled to fill it. Oh, <laughs> 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 
I know, Dicey. I think we may have made a mistake. The Bag Brothers killed me for my jewelry. Well, you see, I, I jumped into the bag uh, to see if the story of the Bag Brothers was true. Yeah, it was. Oh, you're new here. I'm sorry. The Bag Brothers didn't have to. All they had to do was trap us here. The Bag did the rest. You don't know the story, do you? Ludo. That may have actually been true. They are brothers, and they weren't always this way. Long ago, they ventured deep into a forest to a place none had gone before. Some say they disturbed some great evil there. They found this bag resting on a stump in a clearing. Or it found them. It's bottomless, you know. But it hates itself. It wants to be full. The bag twisted the brothers. It changed them. Possessed them. Made them hungry for more and more. The bag demanded they fill it with whatever they could find. First dirt, then rocks. But once the bag got a taste for flesh... We all started like that. And now, well, just look at us. There's nothing that any of us can't... Uh, uh, wh what's that? Oh no. Oh no! They're coming! They're coming!
We'll take everything we want from you. I think I made it this far by being afraid of people like